All right. Uh, what we're talking about today is uh, music and Spotify and analysis. It's something personal about me, but I judge people by their music. And when I meet them, hi Ziad, Kifak. When I meet people, I judge them by their music and what they're listening to, what they get excited about and so on. That's me. I don't know about you. So I judge people based on this. And so this is why I'm sharing with you today my Spotify analysis for my music for the last year, what I listen to. For me, that's very personal. I'm opening, I'm, I'm opening that, that up for what I listen to and why and that behavior. Um, now, I'm remembering stories I've had of people before that I've judged correctly on, uh, on their music interests. We've all been there. You know, you've been in their cars, you've been in their homes, and they're, they're playing this music that you disagree with, although they're very happy. Uh, you know what I mean. Now, what I really liked about what Spotify did is they analyzed a year worth of uh, musical behavior on a personal level and they share them with you. Plus, uh, what they do is they also added a COVID messaging twist. Uh, thank you, Larita. I'll call Manan. I'm going to share with you an example of, uh, of this. For example, because COVID was a very tough year, uh, um, they introduce it in their messaging. So they're like, thanks for spending all 67 months of 2020. And we've all felt that 2020 has has taken its toll on all of us. So I, I really liked uh, how they use that in their messaging. Um, just to give you an example of other things that they included in their, uh, in their messaging is, for example, they talk about how much music and how much artists, how many... Salaam uh, Khalid. Nilam. So, for example, what Spotify, what Spotify did is when they shared the analysis of a year of, of music, they look at how many artists did you listen to. They look at, for example, what type of music do you listen to. And again, uh, you can judge people by their music and, and, what they're, and what they're interested in. So, for example, this is my 2020 in terms of music. Um, so pop is up there. All right. So pop is definitely up there. For me, it's number five. For me, the rock, what they classify as rock is rock and alternative and other things. And um, EDM, so it's a com so this is quite accurate and correct with the things that I'm looking at. What I found interesting, for example, is I was surprised about the number of genres. So it looks like Spotify has a lot of details on the number of genres that they have. So for seventy for seventy genres is a lot. And I know what I listen to is these are the main five or six ones uh, that that I look at that. Uh, 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 Nilam, I'd like to know more about your, the 2020 part. Hey, Captain. Um, so uh, these are the genres that, that I interacted with on Spotify based on their analysis. Although they say it's uh, we're looking at 470 genres, which is a lot, a lot. Yeah. So very likely they have the nuances of rock, new age rock, and alternative, and so on. So that uh, uh, that definitely plays a role. Now. Um, Apparently, my top song of the year is Stay by U2. Um, Alexa, please play a Stay by U2. Here's Stay, Far Away, So Close by U2. Alexa, volume 10. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding right now. Obviously. Please try a little later. Murphy's Law. Alexa, let's try again. Can you please play... Uh, Okay, خلاص مش حال. Murphy's Law says what can go wrong will go wrong, especially in a demo. It's a good song, and I I would I would suggest you 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 look you look into that a little, a little bit further. I want to play that. Actually, I could. No, so give me a second. I'll use my other device. Uh, I'm looking for the song. That's just, just for to to recognize which one which one it is. Hey, Lara, yani for sure, yani. I know I, I know I like the song, but I didn't know that this was my song for 2020. Ah, so Nilam had which one was yours, Nilam? Uh, lockdown jam by Pitbull. Yalla, let's uh, let's do that now, Nilam. Uh, lockdown jam. Is that is that a theme? Uh, is that a twenty twenty theme? By Pitbull. Yalla, let's uh, I'll, I'll dig that up. Give me a second. 
Are you sure it's a Pitbull one? I, I found... Is it this one? Is this yours, Nilan? Is this yours, Nilan? Is this your favorite song? I'm not sure that is. All right, so, uh, all right. And this is also another example of what I liked is about their messaging, their messaging on Spotify related to, to COVID. So a year like 2020 required backup. I'm not sure I want to restore 2020 because you back it up to restore it or to save it just in case it's lost. I'm pretty sure we're all okay with not backing that up, Yanni. But I like I liked the communication and the messaging uh, uh, that, that, that they had. Hamad. Hello, Sahla. All right. So the top songs for the year, at least for me, have been "You Two Stay." Walls is this is also this is also on the on the on the on the EDM side. So Walls is it's this. So this is on the EDM side. We have any Mashua Leila fans? Uh, says very good, thank you, Captain. Um, if we have any Mashua Leila fans, uh, this I played after they played live in Dubai. That was pre-COVID. Uh, I'm not sure if it was just before lockdown or was it November or December. They played a live concert in uh, in Dubai. Um, I haven't seen them play live in a very long time. I did some advisory work for Mashua Leila a long time ago. I had them get started on a couple of things related to their online presence and music distribution. Early days, long, long time ago. And uh, my team and I used to help them with their live, Kifa Grabia, used to also do some of their live coverage of their shows. Uh, like we used to post live on social uh, and so on. That was a long time ago, so I hadn't seen them in so, many, so long. And then when I saw them again in Dubai in a concert, uh, it, 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 I got some memories about that and I started to, to, to play them again. All right, so Nilam is recommending some songs. You know what I'm going to do, Nilam? If you can send them through, I'm going to play them towards the end. We'll go through all a bunch of your songs. I'm curious to see what music you listen to. <laughs> okay, Rabia, drive safely, Habib. All right, so are, you, are any of you into podcasts? If you can let me know in the comments. Um, I've been doing more and more podcasts, uh, especially when I'm walking back and forth to work. So I've done 3,580 minutes listening to podcasts this year. So I'm always looking for new podcasts. If you have any recommendations of, uh, uh, of podcasts. Uh, Nilam is, uh, is saying it's funny that the top five songs that I have, top five genres I have is very different than, than his. Yes, yes. I told you I judge people. And uh, for me, it's very different when I look at people, what they're listening to and so on. So for sure, uh, we all uh, are careful what we listen to. So if you have any podcasts to recommend to me, Please do, because I'm, I'm trying to listen to more and more of them. And I'm being specific, Yanni. I, I listen to a couple of episodes, and then if I don't like it, I unsubscribe and I move on to another one. All right, so what I like about this as well, they're trying to get you to experiment with, mu with new, new music. So apparently with this song, uh, with this song, uh, what we'll do is, uh, I'll play it again. Okay, so this song apparently uh, Spotify wanted to tell me that uh, listen to, it wanted to interest me in listening to new music because I listened to it before it hit 50,000 streams. Although for me, this is a very old song. Very old song. And that's, that's what reminded me. So it's likely some remix that, uh, that hit the scene. So for those of you who are into 80s synth pop, uh, you, you'd recognize the tune. All right. Now, one thing that I did not know that they did is uh, they're using the story format, right? So everybody's using stories now. YouTube, Twitter recently, uh, uh, Spotify even. Uh, hi, Jokoso. So uh, uh, Spotify even are using stories, but they're using it not for daily uploads. It's, it's for what they want to share. So what I liked about this is they ask you questions. It's very interactive where they ask you questions saying, did you, uh, uh, what decade did, did, did you listen to the most? And so on. So what happens is you, 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 answer, you answer it or not and they, and they give you feedback on that. 
and a top artist. Although what I found surprising about the I'm I'm in their top one percent of the listeners. I don't listen to them a lot. I do, but not a lot, a lot. I used to a long time ago. So what that tells me as well is the age group in uh, uh, in spot in Spotify might not reflect their interest in U2 as well. Or or if I want to rephrase, if Spotify was out during U2, uh, U2's you know uh, good years, uh, I think the results would be different. Another thing that I found surprising was almost 2,000 artists this year. So I listen to a lot of music when I'm working and when I'm walking and when I'm doing things. Uh, especially when I want to focus on work. Uh, the same thing that my parents and teachers didn't like me doing, which is listening to music while I'm doing homework. It helps me. I, I do so well when I want to focus and listen to music. So I went through 2,000 artists. I did not expect that, that number. So the top artists, at least for me, is U2, Coldplay, Alanis Morissette, Phil Collins, and Purple Disco Machine. So that also, if you want to go back to, to the genres, that uh, that reflects the genres. So the genres that I was looking at for me this year have been rock, new wave, pop, EDM, disco house, and pop. So um, this is their uh, this is their list for uh, for the top songs. All right, and again, you know what I liked a lot is is, the, is their messaging, how they used COVID rated messaging in the Spotify stories. So, for example, thanks for spending all sixty seven months of twenty twenty. Just to remind you, we're looking at twelve months of the year, just in case. And then another aspect as well, a year like twenty twenty required backup, which also for me means that also this is this is also related to to, to COVID messaging, which which I think which I think was very nicely done. Um. All right, so I'll look at questions. Rita's asking, considering the need to get paid users, how does sending these recaps help Spotify as a business? Let me see. So Spotify's model is freemium. So you have a free listening, which is ad supported, and then we pay to get access to the... Um, uh, to you know the the full aspect of of it without interrupted by ads. Now these recaps, one they get you to engage more with the app, with the app itself. Two, I think it gives more loyalty somehow because I want, and now I'm curious. So if I jump to other platforms or if I listen on other platforms or online, I might lose some of this insight here a bit on the data side. So that definitely might uh, might affect it. Um, Another thing also that might affect it as well is third, they experimented with their stories types. So I think that's cool as well, you know, uh, adding the stories part, but which is which is driven by the company, not by uh, not by user generated content. Uh, four, how does it get more customers? This, what we're talking about today. So we're talking to, today and, and sharing this and so on. So I think this is definitely uh, uh, an, an aspect there for that. I hope I answered that question. Omar. Uh, analysis for Euphrasia doesn't work. I don't see why it would not work because they have everything about you. They have the artist. Uh, so the question is uh, that do the analysis for a free user, does it work or not? I would say it works because they have the information about you, the loyalty part and so on. Even even still, they need the ads. So yes, they uh, they have all the information about you to, to, to share all of this. They have the artists, they have... Um, the genres used to they have all of the stuff i don't i don't see why 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 they would not they can't choose a choose specific song to pay only in shuffle oh yes i forgot about that very valid point you reminded me of early days of shopping spotify uh, i was using it a long time ago and they did not support credit cards from the region so yes i had to use their free model but still mm, Yes, very valid, very valid. It's less accurate. Let me put it this way, it's less accurate for because the, because the free users don't have on-demand play, uh, as you mentioned. That's a very good question. Neelam, are you with us? Um, do you wanna, if you wanna, uh, if you wanna come in, come into the video, uh, you can try to come to, uh, to the video because you've been trying to share podcasts and, uh, you know, information, podcasts and artists and so on. If you want, let's, let's give that a try. You can request. Hi, Dalia Kifik. Welcome. Coming. We're talking, Dalia. We're talking about uh, Spotify and music. I was sharing. 
what Spotify analyzed to be uh, how they're sharing information to their users about the music that you listen to and who are your top artists. And... All right, uh, Nilam, if you want to come into the video or if you want, we can talk and answer your questions. Welcome, welcome. All right, so uh, Nilam, I'm going to go back and see what music you mentioned uh, Spotify recommended for you. For you. So, so what are your top genres, uh, Nilam? You mentioned that your genres were not what you affected. So Lockdown, Jam by Pitbull. I'm going to try to find that again. It's not in his Tom's top songs. Let me try again. You mentioned another song as well, Nilam, as your top. Uh, I Balam, it's a Turkish song. Um, I, I don't think I've played that before. Uh, I'm going to give that a try. Is this, is this your song, Nilam? Is this your second place song? Nilam, is this your other played song? All right, I think I think we lost Nilam. Um, the question is: a lot of other apps send these analysis to users. Why is that a trend? I have that uh, in my to-do list. So one of my to-do list, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, 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 it should come out in a, in a few weeks. The analysis. So, for example, one of the analysis that I have uh, uh, on my to-do list is um, it shows me, according to a year worth of data, that I can only complete, on average, 16 tasks a day, which I find ironic because I schedule 40 to 50 tasks a day. So I've, I've held that number in my mind, which is 16 tasks a day that I can finish versus the 40, 45 that I'm trying to achieve. So I've been trying to reduce it. Obviously, I haven't hit the number I wanted, but uh, that type of data uh, helps. Um, uh, what do you do? You Lungo do with the analysis? What type of information do they share? Uh, the to do to do list as well. What it does is it tries to show me what my busiest days are, uh, in terms of tasks completed and and uh, uh, management and so on, uh, and the busiest times. For me, the busiest times are evening because it's the end of the day. What I do is I end up cleaning up my tasks and moving them to another day and so on. So so that those those tend to be so my evenings and my last day of the week. Um, are the ones that, that are, I'm spending the most time on uh, uh, with that. Um, what else? Um, Nilam is saying that there's another song for... <laughs> Nilam sharing links in the, in the live. I don't think they're clickable, Nilam. In the, in, even in the, in the regular post, they're not clickable. All right, so Nilam is recommending we listen to Muev. La Cartina by, by Pitbull. All right, let me see. Oh. I don't think I found it. Uh, I don't think the spelling is right. La Cintura, ah. ah. So this is Nilam's top song based on Spotify. Is, is that it? Did, did you get this one? Nilam, is that it? Your song? Nah, this was your lockdown jam. Ah, that makes more sense now. This seems like something not to play in a lockdown Elam. It's something like to, to play in a car, the music high and... <laughs> All right, I'll let that play a little bit. Okay, and um, so Duolingo shows you how many words you learned this year, how much time you spent learning that day. I think a lot of it has to do with rewarding, trying to reward us on achievements because we've all, we you know we've always had the spring you know uh, uh, growing up, you know the okay the incentives from our parents bravo good job for what you're doing the incentives from our, from our instructors at school good job coaches and so on so I think when uh, the apps tell us 
we're achieving this, you've done that, you've broken that score, my Fitbit tells me I'm doing better uh, this and so on. And uh, I think those are, uh, those are aspects, uh, uh, those are aspects for this. My top pod uh, podcast list, Nilam, you're asking, I, um, I recently come across uh, Bill Gates' podcast. He, it, it's only a few months old. I'll have it. Uh, I'll have to open on my other phone. Hold on. I'll show. I'll show that to you. It is. It's called Bill Gates and Rashida Jones. So this this came out. November sixteen was their first episode. So this is very recent. All right. So uh, this uh, this is what I listened to. Uh, this is like 40 minutes of, it's, it's deep stuff about COVID. Uh, 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 about COVID and about climate change and things like this. So this is the, uh, uh, this is the, cover, the cover of that. So that's something I've been listening to. Uh, what I like about it is I feel like I'm in a, in a, in a dinner, in a nice dinner with, you know, intellectuals or people who are talking like deep stuff. I do have Joe Rogan, but I don't, I don't listen to him as much as I thought I would. The issue I have with Joe Rogan's uh, content is it's three hours, and four, three hours, two hours, three hours. So that's um, obviously I'm, al I'm alive and the fire alarm goes up, uh, goes up. Of course, the, that's, the, that's a given. So, and it's a false alarm, by the way. So with Joe Rogan, it's three hours. Uh, so you're recommending Super Soul by Oprah? Let, let me find that. Hold on. Super Soul by Oprah. Are they long episodes? Let, let me give that a try. So she has guests. Is that it? It's this one, right? Ah, they're short, less than an hour. Excellent. Thank you. Followed. Hi, right, Osama. What other podcast you, uh, would you recommend uh, I look at? Uh, I also look at... Uh, I've tried a few. There's one that I'm listening to a little bit, not a lot. It's called... It's called Raising the Bar. What they do is they focus on... Uh, they focus on small business. So this is done by, uh, so these are founders and they talk about business, uh, small business, and they have guests for small business there. Noor is recommending, I recommend to, um, Jorgen Zilfri with Naval Ravik. Okay, wait, wait, I'll find that. I'll find that and I'll favorite it. Thank you, Noor. Noor, tell me, how do you get through three hours per episode? Because I like to do it in like one session. If I'm walking or at the gym or just, you know, three hours is a, is a, is a big chunk of time. Uh, let me find that. So how do you go through that? Let me see, Joe Rogan, which one is it? Naval Ravikant. Let me find that. Naval. Uh, episode 130. Okay, for those who are trying to find it, Noor is recommending this episode. It's episode 1309, uh, Naval Rab with Naval Rabikant. I'm gonna... Okay, I've, I've, added to, I've added to the episodes. So, all right, all right, uh, I'll go for sure. So, uh, Noor, tell me, how, how do you go? Because I want to go through his content. I'm interested, he's, he's popular. I want to know more about what he's doing, what he's interested in, how he does content, but, but the three hours has been, has been difficult for me. So if you, if you have a tip for me on that, that would, that, that would help. <laughs> All right. Um, raising the bar, what's, what's that? Raising the bar. Uh, let me see. Is that a uh, which podcast is that? Oh yes, yes, uh, uh, yes. The zone we were discussing. I thought it was a new one. Thank you, Nila. Uh, the Michelle one. All right. Um, let me see other podcasts. If you have any other podcasts to, to to recommend, I'm I'm always looking for new podcasts. Uh, let me see. Oh, 
also I I've, I've been I've been listening to uh, Benedict Evans. Um, it's my text. Uh, so with ben, what, what it's called another podcast. Uh, Benedict, it's B E N E D I C T Evans. Um, he goes deep in uh, in technology and business, and he has a very good newsletter as well. So and his podcast is is, is good. It's also 30, 40 minutes. All right, so Noor's saying, I don't listen at once. Sometimes I don't even finish listening. The most important thing is to absorb the best ones. Like I repeated the one he had with David about six or seven times. Ah, good, good. That's going to be my, my next morning one then, then Noor. Thank you. Uh, but how would you know which ones are the best? The one I, I checked was with, uh, what's her name? The one for, uh, she used to be, was, I forgot her name. Uh, Wrecking Ball, the girl from Wrecking Ball, Miley Cyrus. I was curious to see what she's doing and so on. So I, I, I so I went through that one uh, of his. Um, let me see what other podcasts. So, so, so the Bill Gates one, the Raising the Bar, uh, and and uh, uh, another podcast by. Ah uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, um, I, I also recommend uh, this one. It's uh, it's it's Dubai Works. It's by uh, Fitzgerald from Smashy. I like. Uh, it's it's good. Uh, he goes through a lot of content. He he asks good questions. What other podcasts? Um, there's this one. This was good, but he doesn't update it a lot. I like this one a lot. Uh, uh, Moy uh, uh, exit strategy. Moy's Ali. Um, so he he sold his business to PNG, and uh, he has been uh, he's been talking a little bit a lot more about business and so on. So he asked some very good questions as well, but he doesn't update very frequently. His last update was in May, so so he did that for a couple of months. I think that's that was a lockdown thing. What else? Uh, there's this one as well. I go through. Uh, 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 Business Unusual with uh, Barbara Cochran from uh, Shark Tank. Those are usually short, uh, uh, but uh, but they're good. Uh, I uh, I like her way of thinking. Um, I like also, I sense a lot that she trusts her gut a lot in selection of, uh, in her selections of uh, who to support as businesses and so on. Um, so uh, Business Unusual. Noor's recommending Na Naval Ravikant's podcasts. I'm gonna pin this. Hold on. Nada, kifik. Um. All right. So I'm gonna find Naval. So, does he update them frequently? Uh, Ravikant. He's been a guest on many episodes. Uh, on many. Uh, is this the correct one, Noor? Is this the Naval of Vikant uh, podcast? No, I don't think so. I'm trying to find him. Let's see our podcast intro. Mm. If you can send me a DM, Noor, with the... Hi, Nanda Kifik. If you can send me, Noor, a DM with the podcast, a, a name or link, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd appreciate it. So Neelam was recommending also another podcast. Which one was it? Namita, which is marketing for small business. So Namita. And podcast. Let me, let me try to find that and recommend it. Mm. I think it's this one. Is this, is this what you're recommending, uh, Neelam? Oh, she's based in Dubai. I'll give her a try. She has, she has guests from the region. Very good. Okay, I'll give it a try. Thank you for that one. I just followed her. All right, so uh, what other podcasts would you recommend? If you have any more podcasts, that would be great. I'm going to show you which ones, if I still have one more to show you or not. Uh, uh, Savvy Talk by, by Maha. This is also very good. 
I listen on Apple Podcasts, so I don't know if it will have the same cover as on Spotify. <laughs> Please DM me, DM me, DM me, or that one. Um, there was, there was once a very good episode on on Kerning, so with Kerning Cultures, with Kerning Cultures, they have their own uh, podcast. They had a lockdown one, which I thought was very good at the time, as they've asked people to send in like. Uh, uh, voice recordings and things like this and so on. <laughs> All right, I'll hold this thing longer. Kerning, it's this. It's called Kerning, uh, Kerning Cultures. Um, this one I I don't listen to it as much uh, recently, but uh, but there was one that I really liked. Uh, let me see if I saved it or not. It was during lockdown, so if you go back to March April stuff, they had one about. Let me tell you, because this one was something I remembered a lot during lockdown. I'm going to find it. Give me a second. Because the others, I'm not sure, so sure about the other episodes. But this one. Mm, no. I'll try to find it. If you DM me, I'll, I'll, I'll find it and, 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 send it and send that to you. But I would look at March, April sort of thing. Let's see if we've got news. Yeah. What I don't like is search within this. So ideally, I'd want to search for lockdown or March or so on. Uh, you want the one before this? The one of Maha, I think. Maha, this one, the Savvy Talk. All right, so th this was the one, Nilam. Uh, All right, so if I am to summarize today, uh, every, anything we do electronically is analyzed, right? So Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Twitter, anything we do electronically is Google search, all of this. They know who you are, what you're interested in, and what you're doing. And let's take a positive example of this, which is Spotify. What they've done is they've done a, like a year in review. So you review where they share uh, the review and things things of of what you're interested in, what you're doing, and so on. So what they do is they share information about your behavior. Um, so so they share that information, and from that they uh, they tell you about things that you care about, things that you listen to, and so on, which I thought was insightful. Uh, so. Uh, if you're a user of Spotify, you'd have that. Uh, it tells you about the genres you played, how many users, uh, how many artists you listen to. So, for example, listening to 2,000 artists. I, I did not think in a year I'd be listening to, to, to this many artists, especially that I have a pattern of, of listening to the same music uh, uh, that I was had great experiences with in college. So I, I, I end up, I end up uh, 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 you know, uh, doing that. Nilam TED Talks was my buddy. There was one on decisions to make. It was insane. I think you're doing that on YouTube. Uh, so in the meantime, I'll just summarize. Uh, just summarize uh, what we were talking about. Is that uh, so? Spotify knows you and your music and your genre. And uh, Nilam, if you can DM me those, because I'm I'm gonna definitely lose them here in the live once it's done. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. If you can do that, that'd be great. Uh, so just to summarize what, what, what we're talking about today, what Spotify did is uh, it analyzes your behavior and it tells you you've listened to uh, 470 genres and 202 are actually new. It tells you the top genres that you listen to. It tells you uh, it has a uh, it has, you know, it has COVID related messaging about you know a year like 2020 required backup they have another covid related one which is thanks for spending all 67 months of 2020 with us and then they talk about the your top artists and so on and 2000 artists here so yeah uh thank you guys for uh for your interaction your questions today and uh if you have any suggestions for topics that you want or things that you care about let me know, DM me, let me know. I, I'll have, I, uh, I'm okay, I'd like to, to take a look at that and see what is of interest to you for me to, to, to write about. So, uh, 
In the meantime, if you have any questions, please DM me and I'll take care of it.